what's up everyone I'm back as I always say and here today is going to be the tutorial uh, my most wanted uh, tutorial um, as the title says uh, should be something like how to make a Total War machinima cinematic movie uh, sort of thing you know like I do with um, my last samurai movie thing I made um, I made mastering commander uh, and I've made uh, other movie things, um, not just from real movies, but I've made up my own. Um, I'm going to make a few more pretty soon, like one of like The Patriot, um, fairly soon. But um, I'm going to show you how to do it yourselves. Uh, so to start off with, let's get cracking straight into it. Go straight into your internet browser. Here you are, and uh, go to the first link in the description. So I skipped a step there, I'm already on it. So go to the link in your, uh, the first link in the description. Come down to here, and you should see a little thing down here called attached files usp.zip. Click it. And because I'm in Chrome, it's already downloading at the bottom here. Uh, save the file. To wherever whatever all right mine's just done open up the file wherever you saved it oh yeah by the way you might need uh, WinRAR or 7-zip if you don't need it uh, and you get lucky and you don't find you don't need it for the tutorial for whatever reason then whatever don't you know don't need it but if uh, if you find that you do need it I'm not too sure but I already had it so I just went for it if you find that you do need it um, just search on YouTube how to get WinRAR for free or 7 zips. Easy, it's quick, and it's free. Well, I say free, but uh, I'm not sure about 7 zip. I think that one's free. But um, anyway, just do it. Uh, you can always delete it afterwards. Now, go to the application. Um, sometimes um, I think I might need to extract it, or I might be able to be lucky and just quickly start it up. Press yes if you get this. And you'll get this uh, thing now. Now, if you notice, it only says Empire, Napoleon, and Shogun 2. When Rome 2 comes out, um, I reckon they'll build something else. Or I'll show you how to do it manually as well. So here's the automatic version. For games like Medieval and Rome, I have to explain that probably in a different video. This is for like the newish ones. Um, but I'll show you how to do it manually as well. This one, this way, is the um, automatic version. This is very easy, very simple can't see why you wouldn't want to do it this way but here you go uh, for example let's go to Shogun 2 preferences the preferences for all of them are all the same now you'll get this oh looks all good don't it um, scroll down well actually let me start here it says campaign unit multiplier that's like the number of men or something in a, in a unit um, you can change that to whatever figure I can't remember how it goes but you can have like thousands of men that's how you create hundreds and like even millions of soldiers on the battlefield um, it will stress out your computer but uh, that's what I've done and you can even do 1v1 battles with that I'll talk more into that a little bit later on or in the description if I get the time um, if I don't then leave a comment and I'll tell you otherwise I'll probably forget but the bit you want to focus on right now is scroll down until you find default camera type uh, yours will say Yours will say zero, okay? It will say default camera type zero. That's what it will say, hopefully. If it says anything else, put it on zero. If it is on zero, then change it to the number two. It has to be the number two. I, I really don't know why, um, but it has to be the number two. Um, and you'll see why for later on. So change it to number two, and make sure it is camera uh, default camera type two. Uh, now you must save the file, so go to save as, we don't need to just press save and just press save as is. And this is where it exists, you need to replace it. So yes, saved. Um, I can exit this. I can exit this. I can exit this. And now uh, we start up. Uh, what game was it? I chose. I think I chose Shogun Total War 2, didn't I? Yeah, so um, start up whatever game you just changed around with the settings. Uh, so for me, it'll be a Shogun 2. So now I'm going to start up Shogun 2. Alright, when you get into uh, your game, um, Shogun 2 Total War, uh, did I say that right? Shogun 2 Total War, um, oh, what's going on? 
or when all that you know. Um, yeah, you just play any battle you want. So, for example, let's go single player. Uh, I just go to a custom battle. And from there, um, you just. I've got a couple of mods on here, so. Excuse mods. Let's quickly build a queer, very, 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 very quick battle. Uh, let's take a look. I'll just stick random stuff down. You might have noticed the mods already, seeing I've got better British and units and stuff. Pirates and stuff, I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, anyway, yeah, okay, let's just. I'll just quickly nip a couple of samurais, some of them. I'll give them a couple of samurais. Okay. Um, yeah, play your battle as you would. So, for example, Oh, what the hell that'll do. Oh, sorry about the low frame rate for some reason. Um, my PC is going through its difficult stages at the moment and it sort of hates me. <clears throat> okay, first things first is you're going to need fraps or some recording software. Uh, for, for the Fraps free trial, well, it lasts forever, but it, you only get up to 30 seconds of recording time. Then, uh, well, that's, I did that for loads of my videos. Um, you might have noticed it says www.fraps.com at the top. And I still did pretty well. Okay, I had 30 second shots, but I still kept playing with it and I did really well. I did a, I'll give you a link in the description. Um, Fraps is, I don't really know much, I'm not sure if it's $20 or £20, I'm not too sure, it's 20 something. Um, check it out, it's so easy to use, just press a button, it records, press a button and it stops. Um, I'm recording with Fraps right now and recording my voice at the same time. So you're going to need some recording software, um, go check them out, get a good cheap reliable one. And the second thing you want to do is go to options, go to sound, turn off the music, uh, unless you want music. Turn off subtitles and turn off the speech. Press OK. Now, if you want to add music to your own machinimas, uh, just take them off YouTube, download it, or whatever songs you want. Uh, to get it off some somewhere else. If you want Shogun 2 music, search on YouTube and then Shogun 2 soundtrack and then pick a song and whatever, download it. Um, uh, next thing you want to do is somewhere around here. It's bow interface. Yeah. You um wait. Yeah. Floating fa uh, flags. Press never. Um and as you can see, there you go. Now I don't know why the hell it's so laggy. Let me just fix this. Alright, sorry about that. Um I've helped the frame rate a little bit. Uh still kinda like it before. I think I was testing stuff in high graphics. It's all on low. Who cares? Um, like I said, my laptop, yes, it's on my laptop, it's going through some stages. So, sorry for the lag. Um, what you want to do right now is, um, if you remember when we did default camera type 2, uh, what that does is, if you scroll up and down, I can go right underground. I can go as far as I want. It's, unbra it's unbreakable. Um, you can go wherever you want. I can go for miles that way, miles up, miles down, whatever, um, and this helps you get a little bit more free with it. Um, now the buttons you want to use: C is to look down, X, oops, wrong one, C is to look down, B, what is it? Me. There, B is to look up, C is to look down, so you can get some really cool shots. Um, N, let's just have a quick go of my troops. N does uh, zoom like that. And, uh, but let me just show you an example. Oh man, I really apologize about this lag. Uh, for example, you go to N, 
can do stuff like this, record his face. Um, but you don't do that till the replay. So, rather than me blubber on anymore, you play your battle. Play it as you normally would, so I'm just going to speed up the video here. I don't care if I win or lose. Um, I'm going to speed up the video so you don't have to watch it. Alright, once you've ended your battle, um, make sure you press save replay and save it. So, for example, I'll just name it test. And make sure you save it and go to view replays and view your replay. Alright, now we're watching our replay. The first thing you want to do is remove uh, your map. And by doing that, you click somewhere on this little thing up here. Um, next step is if you haven't got a very good computer, uh, like me at the very moment, press slow motion. Now this should increase your frame rate but you will have no sound and I'll show you what to do later on. Um, yes it's in slow motion and if you do not want your clips to be in slow motion don't worry I will get you through that. Uh, another tip is to press the K button. This is a new feature, it removes everything, absolutely everything. Uh, now you're good to go. Uh, so for example Let's record some really good shots. Uh, I'll just show you a very, very, very quick example. Press N, like I said, to zoom in. And there you are, you can record this shot. Make sure your mouse cursor is off the screen. So get your mouse cursor out of the way. There you go, you can have like a shot like that, for example. Um, let me show you some other shots that can be done. Um, you could go up to the enemy general and see their point of view so you can have like a shot like that make sure you get everything out of the way and there you are you can have something like that um whatever shots uh, to get their feet you can play around do whatever you want uh, be creative and let's get onto the middle of the battle and i'll show you some more shots Once you've uh, played through your battle and you've recorded your shots and everything and you're happy with it and you've got everything you need and if there's anything you don't need you can just go back to your replay exit, uh, it's time to exit Shogun 2 so let's do that now okay and once you've exited uh, your game uh, you need to open up a software that you, or program that you can use to edit your footage um, I recommend and I have uh, Sony Vegas Movie Studio number plat 10 that's a mouthful to say uh, any other versions are still good um, they charge £50 for I saw in the regular retail website whatever um, but I paid £15 um, I'm not sure what that is in any other currency um, on the internet on Amazon on eBay so check it out um, you can get a trial which lasts for like I think it's a month or 
couple of weeks, I'm not too sure, can't remember. But uh, what I used to do with my older videos, I used Windows Movie Maker a lot. And it is extremely basic, and I wouldn't recommend it for uh, these machinimas, but um, that's what I did, and that's how I coped. But um, it's pretty old news now. You import all your footage from here. So, for example, I'll just import some uh, footage that I did last time. So, import your footage, go to Project, Import Media, and you pick your shots from wherever you save them to. Um, here's a very quick one. Where's my shot? Somewhere around here. This one I've shown you an example. Um, so, let's clean it up a little bit. Uh, this is just one clip. You melt all your clips together, whatever. So right now, this is just a very basic clip. Um, you can see that down here it says Event FX and above it it says Event Pan and Crop. Click Event Pan and Crop and I made a default of widescreen. Um, there are like 16.9 which is not that much. Um, but you can like play around and as you can see you can either drag it in like that and you can hide your uh, I think it's called HUD, whatever, hide all that effect, play around, get your certain shots that you want. Um, but I already made a template with widescreen. <coughs> Search around uh, how to make some templates, whatever. But yeah, just minimize it, whatever. Um, this is for more advanced users now, um, but it really does pay off. You know, it might notice that some of my machinimas shake a lot. And what that is, let's move on the keyframe uh, to about and here slot a new keyframe and I zoom it in and there we go I zoom it on some sub soldier's face and now when we start from the very beginning watch this side record this shot oh you can hear my voice make sure your mouse cursor is off the screen as you can see um, just heard me repeat myself but at the same time it's zoomed in like that I'll show you again very quickly it zooms in like so let me do it again, record this shot, make sure your mouse cursor is off the screen, there you are, and it just zooms in like so, record this shot, and it made a funny noise, um, but yeah, you can play around, um, you can make your certain zooms and tracks and whatever, just have a mess around, or when they're marching, you can add keyframes and make it bumpy or whatever, play around, that's all I can say, I show you, I've got to show you a crap video I made, but it's one of my first ever machine machinimas. I'm going to show you one of my latest ones that really, and you can really see the difference from just a few months of playing around and having a go. Uh, my channel is not that old, so there's, there's that one. And last but certainly not least, you're going to want some sound. Because we did it in slow motion, there's not going to be uh, any sound, even though there's my voice, so I'm going to mute my voice. And the whole clip, oh, oh, my bad. The whole clip is muted. <coughs> Excuse me. So go project, import media, and import some sounds. Uh, my sounds are in here yeah, somewhere. Um, oh, sorry. My folder, my music, sound effects. This is my sound effects folder. Um, to all sounds and as you can see I've just recorded previous sounds like in the game like I recorded a small fight or whatever and converted them into mp3 format I'll put a link in for uh, to all uh, machinimas like a few miscellaneous ones that you can choose from they're not great but you can make up your own sound effects as well and just google around but I'll give you a free little package as well so for example because we want to get some marching, let's go sound effects, let's go group, let's go infantry, and walk large sound, no, not sound, are they? Let's walk medium, dirt, there you are. I've imported that sound. If you already have this program, you know what I'm talking about, but you can do it in whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, scroll down, 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 down. And you can stick it in there, and here I have some sound. That's extremely, extremely basic. Um, but you can add whatever you want, more realistic sounds, whatever. Again, I'm just showing off here. Um, last one, 
I think I nearly missed out is color correction and this is how you make it more cinematic this is where you go to the one with your little video clip again this can only be done in this program maybe other programs but certainly not Windows Movie Maker go to track FX come up with here the ones I use is Sony color curves add and Sony color uh, corrector secondary I think is the one I use press add press ok and here you are you can like play around watch this over here you can play around like and make it color correction and whatever go search some tutorials on YouTube about more on color correction like for example if I was in the jungle zone I would have it a bit more green if I was in the snow I might have it a little bit blue if I was in the sand I'd have it a little bit more yellow you just play around and you get what you want See, this is extremely over the top. Let's go for red. That's red. There we go. This is extremely over the top. And at the moment, that kind of sucks. But you get the idea. And um, I'm now I'm just going to very quickly show you some of my work. And hopefully, I'll be very interested in seeing some of your work. This is my first uh, ever machinima cinematic movie, whatever you hell you want to call it. As you can see, the top banner it still says www.fraps.com. That's because I was using the free 30 second uh, version. And I still did pretty well. Um, you see all these shots, all these single shots you're seeing. Now this is uh, my latest video. You probably all recognize it. All of uh, Last Samurai, sorry. Um, this is one of my best ones, my uh, modern sort of ones, um, my latest one, and as you can see there's no HUD, there's no fraps, uh, lots of colour correction and all sorts. Um, yeah, uh, I really enjoyed making this one, but to get this for sort of professional, it just takes time, you know, just practice loads and have a good time. Um, I like, enjoyed this bit later. Yeah, and they're all sound effects from either movies or whatever, as well as a little charge. Yeah, now this one, this one is from the Napoleon Total War. This is uh, another one I made. Now this is uh, just before I learned about color correction and um, widescreen. Um, again, I had the full version of Fraps though. Here, I did a lot more on color correction, but again, I had no widescreen. Um, still sort of beginner, still still learning. I think I put too much color correction on, I believe. And this one here is my American Civil War one. This mod for Empire Total War. Um, go check it out. Uh, this is probably again one of my best ones. You can see I had color correction and widescreen, um, and I had the free uh, full version of Fraps. Um, so, and as you can see, it really paid off well. And if you compare that to my very very first one you can see how far I've reached and how much I've jumped but all I can say to you guys is just keep trying um, if my tutorial is no good to you it doesn't help you in any way um, there's a uh, gonna be a link for another video but pretty much all it does is tell you exactly the same um, now before I forget let me quickly show you the manual way of going into your folders and changing the camera Alright, now to do it manually, you need to go to your username, so find your username, then go to app data, then go to roaming, then find the folder called the creative assembly, and there you are, you can do it this way. Now let's go Shogun 2, and go down to scripts, preference scripts, or script, and here you are, it's just exactly the same. Right, let's find it again. Default camera type 2, there you are. So that's the manual way, but then again, I recommend using the normal way. I hope this tutorial helps. Um, it was one of my most wanted. I really do hope you're not disappointed. Um, it does take time to make these movie things. Uh, I'm a little bit gutted now I've made this tutorial because no one's going to watch any more of my awesome machinimas. They're all going to make their own. And let me see your guys, uh, Machinimus, because they'll be pretty good if you follow thy advice. Um, yeah, just start basic, you know, do a couple of battles and records and add a couple of sound effects and whatever. 
I'll leave the appropriate links in the description. And while you're on this score, please check out my channel and my machinimus. <clears throat> that's all I ask is just you to watch and maybe like if you did like it. Um, but that's it so far, and thank you for watching, and goodbye.